Hello everyone, Bashar here. We are together with a raid video and in this video guys, I'm going to show you something I would say a little bit fantastic. So, uh, you might have recalled uh, in the last uh, login champion, uh, Aidlin I think was her name, when she was first released, everyone was very underwhelmed, right? She was a very, very bad champion, but then some word got out that she could potentially uh, solo Shogun uh after his nerf and you know some people release some videos about it but uh they are a little bit far-fetched right it is a huge stretch uh, to get it done but you know and from my clan some people got hype on that but realized that it doesn't really work uh, my friend almost got the idea of you know using someone else and as you can see uh, he has a six star uh, soul with it right who is extremely good at healing uh, so basically in theory this can work with any force affinity champion with a single hitting a one ability right in theory and that's what Aiden provides she is very bad and she provides nothing else uh, that's why she has been used but you know there are some additional difficulties which I will you know, explain to you so with it I think is the best champion in the game to do this uh, and the six star soul while not being a must obviously if you do not have a six star soul you will have to also uh, contend with the accuracy uh, that is required for this place and the amount of stats uh, I mean, you are seeing it on your screen right now, but I will open the stats screen and, uh, you know, it will be a little clearer. Uh, the stats are, yeah, a little bit obscene, right? It's not very easy to reach. And on top of it, also providing the accuracy can be a challenge. The accuracy is, I think, around 400 or so. So... I mean, his resistance is around 400 or so, I believe, on stage 25, which means you will have to, uh, you know, bring around 420 accuracy. Uh, just checking in on that. But I think that's the case. Let me just check real quick. It is 400, that's correct. So, uh, on top of this build, you would all have to provide 420 or so accuracy so what we have here as the sets is we have three pieces of uh, supersonic the resistance doesn't do anything because as you can see we do not have resistance to resist the stuff and you know most of the stuff that he does is irresistible anyway so you get some hp and speed from the uh, supersonic which is not a must right i mean you can just do something else and you also obviously wear regeneration for you know standard with solo champions uh, and i believe we have a little bit of live in upgrades but not too much yes we do a, have a few the accuracy is all meaningless anyway because of the six star soul uh, the hp and uh, defense are input a little bit i'm guessing these are one or two points each and two points in speed uh, so as you can see the speed is very very high so with this speed, and I will show you the masteries in a second, uh, we will play almost at a one-to-one -one ratio. I think we can be lapped once throughout the entire fight, because you know we will have the uh, dead allies up to 24 uh, speed mastery, I believe it's called Spirit Haste, so that's going to bring us to a 339, and if I recall the boss is on 350. Yeah, that is almost a one-to-one -one tune, so he doesn't lap you. Maybe we get lapped once the entire fight, maybe we don't. Uh, so guys, you could, you know, say, you know, doesn't the guy, you know, give us the enfeebled, so we are going to weak it him all the time. And how does this even work, right? Because I did say that when I first uh, heard the alien solo. Uh, so the uh, thing is, you go for Warmaster, and the additional hit Warmaster does, even though the game specifically insists it doesn't uh, count as a hit, right? Uh, this 
hit in air quotes does proximite so even though you are weak hitting this might works thanks to this ability right and this hit also uh, counts as an additional hit uh, in terms of lowering the shade counter so these add up and you actually lower the shade counter so what is the danger why does it not properly work the problem is i mean you want to do this with food right i mean that's the meaning of you know doing solo teams or you could just bring some new teams and do it in 15 seconds right that's what you get out of doing solo i mean if you are not bringing food you might as well bring a full team uh, so the problem is the guy gets shade counter when he kills people right when he crits on people and that means when he kills the food he gets a huge head start on the counter and the counter can reach you know really dangerous uh, stages like you know 50 or so at the beginning so you have to bring it down from a uh, I count. That's why we want a force affinity champion. So you know we have the luxury of V kids, and he will uh, crit us uh, less uh, frequently. Uh, and thing is, normally you would say about we are the strong and he won't crit us. So the thing is, guys, that's actually not a you know real rule. Uh, the idea is. AI controlled champions most of the time have 15% crit rate and when you face enemies of the strong affinity you have a 15% crit chance penalty and that's why you don't crit so that's why you say when you are trying to do uh, Badal or UDK solo uh, stage 20 dragon you don't get crit the reason that you don't crit is everyone in there is blue a magic affinity and you are force red right so they don't ever crit you because they have 15% crit chance penalty, right? Uh, but this boss sadly has 50% crit chance, so that gets penalized down to 35%. So he does crit. And uh, because of this, guys, finally, you don't want to bring green food in there too much because against green, the uh, crit rate chance increases to 65%. So most of the time, guys, even though this is a little bit funny because you are never... Uh, you know required to bring specific types of food but this time it is you wanna bring red food in here right even if you do this right this Viter build that is very very powerful uh, even if you manage this you still need to bring uh, red food right I think it will work with void and magic most of the time we can test it out uh, but it is safer with force affinity food so because his crit rate now goes down to 35% and at the beginning it doesn't climb to a very unhealthy amount. So how do we get the shade counter down? Uh, so he will give us an enfeeble debuff, right? It's going to be a permanent thing because he will keep refreshing it. And uh, I mean, we will give him five shade counter when we hit him. We will take away six shade counter from him uh, because of our six star soul. And War Master's extra hit will reduce it by five, six more so we will be bringing his shade counter down eventually so the only thing that we are afraid of is the climb at the beginning and that is uh, reliant on the nature of the food that we bring so that's why and i didn't go into the stats too much so 100k hp and 5k defense so this is not for the faint-hearted also you know above 300 speed uh, these are a little bit high requirements and guys that's why i said you know a six star soul is kind of required because uh, the nice stat bonuses that the six star provides and on top of it uh, the the necessity of uh, dodging the accuracy and guys so for example imagine if almost had to bring 420 accuracy here right he had to give up these stats right and this is a build that can go wrong so that's why guys the eight then is very very hard because with it also uh, as you might know is a master of healing i'm sure uh, all of us have uh, faced one man with your defenses in arena and got stuck i mean she has extreme healing capacities uh, she puts continuous heals she activates them right uh, 
So I believe the Adlin version is, you know, extremely hard to pull off. Even with these stats, for example, Adlin will die. Why? Because Adlin does not have built-in healing capacities like these. So she will only be reliant on the 15% of the uh, regen set. She has nothing else. This lady has a lot, right? She has increased defense. She has uh, you know, a lot of continuous seals. She activates them. So well, how is the AI setup? Why is the AI setup is very simple. There is one thing that to, be, to do. We turn off the A3, of course. We just do the A2 at the beginning because at the beginning he will have a lot of uh, shade stacks because of, of when he kills the food and that means uh, the shade counter will climb and he will unlock some additional abilities in order to uh, you know not die there we just do it once at the beginning and then we just keep spamming the a1 because this ability doesn't hit right we don't want this but we just want it at the beginning so that we don't die the food is just food and let's break a leg Okay, now twenty three. So this is very safe, I think. Twenty five, and it appears we can get rid of the enfeeble because of our very high speed. And as you can see, it goes slowly down. yeah the extreme high speed actually uh, i was thinking about this but i wasn't sure so because of our extremely high speed we can get rid of uh the enfeebled at, at times so he refreshes it once every four turns and i think uh, duration is three turns yeah and because we are very high speed that is about uh, uh 315 plus 24 speed brings us i think and as you can see after the beginning we can uh, take the shade counter down to all the way to zero and guys as you can see the duration is beautiful as well you know it's about 130 or so yeah very very safe and i dare say a little weaker i think would work One twenty nine, guys. Beautiful. So let's try something else. Let's bring. So, guys, magic and void are exactly the same in the eyes of the you know food. So force is superior because they are the strong effect and they will crit uh, get less often. Void and magic are the same and spirit is bad because the crit rate goes up so we will be seeing more shade counters here i believe it went up to 23 or something Two twenty two. same deal he didn't crit more And yeah. What a very beautiful build. I'm so envious, guys. But take a look at all the healing she gets. You know, this is pretty insane. And not. But thing is, guys, you might take a look at this and say, you know, this is very, very safe. No, nothing is happening uh, i could even let go of the regen set blah blah right in theory that looks good right but the problem is we haven't had a bad starter i mean if the shade counter climbs very high it can go pretty nasty so so that's nothing uh See, these are pretty dangerous. So if it reaches, you know, high amounts, right? Uh, for example, if it reaches 30, his crit rate will be up to 80%, right? Yep. 
yeah, that's the that's the deal. So we had 23 at the beginning, but I think he critted just once. If he crits, you know, on all four targets, which is possible, it can go pretty high. Uh, let's take a look at the masteries. I did go a little bit uh, inverted, so to speak. So the masteries are so the the war master is to proc uh, the smite to do damage because it hits for like 40k. It's not a bad amount of damage, uh, and to reduce the uh, shade count. Right? That's why we need it. This is a classical uh, solo champion build, right? Dead allies increase our damage, 10% additional damage there. These are, uh, you know, pretty classic uh, damage stuff. So we have the Arcane Celerity. Not a very big deal. Uh, I think actually this mastery would have been more correct with this, right? Because we cast a lot of continuous heals. And thing is, I mean, our debuffs expire on the boss like 10 times throughout the entire fight but our buffs expire like 30 times throughout the fight and so this will give us more turn meter we definitely would have preferred this one over this uh, but you know sometimes guys you create the build and some stuff occurs to you afterwards right so if you are trying to do this i would suggest dropping the arcane celerity in favor of rapid response um, or, for example, uh, you could do better, now that I have uh, seen it, you drop this mastery, charged focus, you know, which gives you the accuracy. I mean, you don't need accuracy if you have a six-star with this all. You grab this one, right? And then you grab both rapid response and arcane celerity, drop this one, right? This is for more stats, right? Uh, this is, uh, Spirit Taste is, you know, the most classic solo mastery and for the last one we want sniper so this actually helps us in placing snipe uh smite sorry <laughs> so snipe there as yes, uh, smite so thing is obviously it does not help at all uh when we have a six star soul but if we have a five star soul for example guys uh, the smite placement chance will go from 60 percent to 65 percent so do i think it can work with a five star soul i think it will be hard but it could because the thing is this build looks very safe and secure uh, so you know you can ease up a little right uh, so i'm not very sure about how it works if we do not uh, if we are a little bit slower and if we can't get the enfeeble to expire on us right because because we are achieving that right now uh we can get the shade counter down very quickly right i mean one turn free of enfeeble if we hit him the counter goes uh, uh down by six or twelve or something right and he, he you know he immediately becomes very very safe uh, once we have achieved that but i think we can sacrifice a little bit from hp uh and defense and speed i think we can sacrifice from all of these a little bit so the accuracy is about you know 180 off yeah it could be doable i would say yeah with a five star soul and in theory of course it can be doable for lower but thing is guys you have to remember that the smite goes lower and lower so guys if you don't have a six star soul the smite uh, placement chance will go down to 20 or 35 percent right including the uh, additional five percent from sniper and that will make the round duration go a little bit bad right i think uh, five stars is the and thing is guys if you have a lower blessing you will also miss out on these stats and this build is demanding right it's not like you know we are trying to do uh um stage 20 solo with udk right it's not we are not very safe that guy can dish a lot of damage and now for science there is a chance that we might be wasting 20 energy here 
I'm gonna try it with spirit food as well. Let's see how that works. Uh, but there is a chance that we could die here, guys. Because the thing is, if that counter hits 50, adios, right? We just die. Because he will ignore 100% of defense, so his hits will become extremely hard. I am curious. Maybe try it with... No. Four science. Okay. Incoming. Now he comes the real turn, guys. 93. Well, so we had three force food, we had 23 counters, we had three magic food, we had 23 counters, and we had three spirit food, I mean four, sorry, not three, and it was the exact same. Okay, but guys, there is RNG here, right? So, uh, it could go bad because the thing is guys it is a little bit random so whenever he lands a critical hit the shade counter increases by five right so if he crits everyone that means he's gonna get 25 shade counters right and there is something about you know people dying I think when he kills or spreads, so there is some additional, so guys, because the thing is, that sounds like, you know, the maximum uh, shade counter he can get is 25, you know, he crits all five targets, he gets 25 shade counter, it doesn't work like that, he, he gets a little more, because I think when he kills, or when people with debuffs die on them, or something like that, there is, so the, it can climb to 50, uh, and once it reaches 50, we just die, I mean, I think she has the capacity to come down from you know, anything that is not 50. But if 50 is reached, he will ignore 100% uh, of defense and it's just GG, right? Because we have a lot of defense, we have a lot of damage reduction from defense. So basically his damage goes up by 5-6 times. And of course, as you can see, uh, he does the DP's defense, which makes his damage output go much higher. And that's why... I think he Aiden is so hard. So I have not tried Aiden first and myself, but you know some people that I know have they tried their hand at Aiden and the problem is the win rate. So she can do it, guys. I'm not saying she can't do it, but the thing is when you are doing this kind of stuff, uh, you want the win rate to be 100% or at least very close to 100%, right? Because this is not a you know Sintranos level. This is not some place that you want to be you know you want to succeed at once and you know lay it aside this is a place that we want to do thousands of times of right i mean a loss rate of let's say five percent it would mean you know five percent of all the energy that we invest in there is wasted right if you want to invest ten thousand energy in here and you would have to spend ten thousand much more than ten thousand energy in this place right that means 500 goes to waste that's a little bit high right i mean for example i would just prefer you know, having a 100% team that has a 15 second duration and which is very doable, by the way, after the uh, Shogun nerf. So that's the problem with Aiden, right? And as I said, if you want to do this, you know, with another champion, what you are looking for is single hitter A1, right? Four second hit champion, right? And as much as self healing capacity as needed and obviously has to be a legendary or, or mythical because uh, you want a smite on them so for example status nope i was gonna say status nope status is no nope. uh, so why do we not want multiple hitters guys because if you have a multiple hitting a1 uh, that means you would have to hit the guy multiple times with the enfeeble debuff on you and the shade counter will just go high and you will die so guys no i did talk a lot as usual so guys long story short something along the lines of 100k hp 5k defense in regen set uh, alongside with um, uh, above 300 speed i think with veteran question this is you no know, quite sufficient right so almost is a little better 
but I think we can make the sacrifices because you know the champion is just very good. But it would be you no know, beneficial to have stats that little uh, that are a little bit closer to what almost has if you are using another champion. And as I said, guys, the, the requirements are very strict, right? Force affinity and as I said, single eating A1. So that's the only thing Aiden provides, right? And so what are the problems with Aiden? Uh, the first problem with Aiden is, uh, first of all, the, the soul that we were given for her is a five star. So that will mean she needs accuracy, right? And she has additional access to healing. I mean, uh, so this ability is definitely not getting used at all. This one may be at the start, just like we do with Vithir, but yeah, and with this one, we try to place the smile. So she doesn't need boots. That's a, a nice plus. We have an aura that will help us 60 accuracy, but that still would mean we have to rack up with, with something on as of 360. And guys, imagine you try to give her 100k HP, 5k defense, uh, uh, 360 accuracy if you include her aura in. Yeah, not very easy. Not very easy. And thing is, she has very limited access to heals. So the thing is with Vithi, guys, I mean, at the beginning of time, we do the increased defense and some healing. But on top of that, because of her passive, uh, she does a lot of extra healing. So she does actually uh, more healing than the regen set by herself without any help. So guys, uh, this can't be a permanent thing because the round duration would be bad. So let's say we just do use the set the opener. So we have a little bit of help. Uh, at the beginning and after that uh, we have to you know survive based on regen and I don't think we can you know give her accuracy as well because the stats are already high anyway and uh, the boss's accuracy his resistance is 400 but his accuracy is 450 so in order to resist you would have to have around 550 uh, resistance and thing is that would be a huge waste because the enfeeble is irresistible anyways he places them no for sure the only thing that you can resist is the decreased defense he does and guys you don't go you know 550 resistance just for resisting that decreased defense you would have to uh, tank it and that's why it's very hard to achieve uh, with that and we didn't have any freak accidents but they can happen as well so if it is able to deal with those, Aiden isn't, as I said, uh, at the beginning of the fight, you get a little bit of support, maybe from her A2 just once, but then there is just no healing other than regen itself. So yeah, it's bad. But as I said, uh, force affinity, uh, single hitting A1, champions uh, should be capable of this. Mikage, of course, you should never use, right? Mikage is a very good champion. Hmm. Could be that we try. I mean, in theory, yeah, he, he does uh, have the idea. So, guys, as I said, just take a look at your Force of Infinity Legendaries. Uh, if you have a good soul on any of those, uh, A1 single hit, yeah. But for example, guys, this looks nice, right? The problem with this ability is it doesn't hit. So we can't get smite proc on this, and on top of it, uh, he receives 90% reduced damage from poisons. So there is that. So by doing this, we will be healing ourselves a little bit, but we won't be hitting him. Uh, so there is no smite proc, and we won't be bringing the shade counter now, right? So this again is maybe considerable for just the beginning of the fight once or something like that yeah or maybe the second turn you know you start with this then you use this once no it can't it would have, because then you would have to use it all the time so guys it's not very easy with it i would say is the best champion in the game for this and also you know for example mikage is a very good champion but with it is not that good right you don't use him 
you don't use her in too many places so she is very ideal for this if you have a five or six star soul with it so lying around 100k hp 5k defense and 300 speed uh, you can try it out as you can see if you go to 310 or so speed wise that's better and almost can actually use work here as you can see his uh, boots are not ascended you know if this was rerolled into speed that would be much better and as i said it's not fully ascended so he has a lot of uh, room for improvement the, the not not utilizing not having to use accuracy is a big boon uh, i know not many people would be able to you know do this right you know having with it having a five or six star soul but still if you can do it it's very nice right it's an end game place uh, you know you basically have a beautiful solo so that's about it guys and i will see you bye bye